Hello, everybody. I have Fiona on here and we are, and you hear me use these words a lot, but I am often super excited because <laughs> we've decided that the month of March is going to be 30 days of strength. So, you know, I know that many of you already know, having listened to things and read things that we put through this group, that it is really important and at all ages, but particularly at 40 plus to make sure that you build your strength and you build your muscle. So what we thought is we do a whole month of ideas and a schedule that you can follow that's really simple and you can adapt it to yourself uh, of um, 30 days of strength training. So uh, I took on board to invite Fiona and get her expertise uh, because she's a fully qualified trainer and she works in a gym. And so she's got access to all the kind of things that we're going to need to be able to do some exercise routines with us. So, um, yeah, Fiona, let's start by, you know, why and, uh, you know, why and how important is it for men and women to build their strength, particularly 40 plus? Yes. Well, I'm in my 40s now, so I know all about that. <laughs> And yeah, we, we start to lose um, and our, or our muscle starts to reduce um, if we're not doing resistance training and also not having enough um, protein as, as well, which we can um, also talk about um, in our 30 days. Um, but yeah, there's just so many uh, different reasons why it's you know really good for um, weight management, hormone um, to balance out your your hormones. Um, and especially for women to um, from going into menopause as well. Um, yeah. Absolutely. So um, can you give us an idea? And I went to the cupboard and grabbed these because I haven't got any weights here, guys. But uh, here's some coconut oil and some honey and they're similar weights. Uh, so you don't <laughs> need to have your weights. However, no, I can tell you that uh, um, I think it's... Um, uh, uh, one of the supermarket, one of the places, I can't even think which one came out, I think have really good cheap weights that you can grab. So if you do want to get some weights, you can quite easily, but start with your cupboard and preferably maybe the two kilo packs of flour and sugar and stuff like that. Uh, so give us a few ideas of what we could be expecting from you three times a week. Yeah, well, we'll just start with some um, basic resistance training. And like Heather has, she's got a, you can have tins of food, you can have coconut or honey um, as long as they're similar weights like hers um, but yeah just basic bicep curls just to start to build and start to move um, some blood flow and some energy and um, start to build um, light build of your your arms and, you need some uh, upper body strength okay. especially so as women so I've heard about sets so you need to do so <laughs> many and then you do yeah. well let's start so with 15 sets uh, 15 reps, yep. three sets. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So I've lost count already, but probably we're about 10, 11, more. <laughs> 12, <laughs> 13, 14. And then you're going to go straight into, you're going to bring the weights up to your shoulders. You're going to push your bum back, keep your chest up into a squat. So bend your knees. And then as you push up, you're going to press up. Come down into a squat and press up. You want to keep your chest up. You want to engage your core. So lots of things to think about when you're doing these exercises as well, which I'll go into. But just moving your whole body. So this is a beautiful compound exercise that that um, that um, brings a lot of different muscle groups into your into one exercise. That's excellent. Great for the shoulders. Great for the legs. Great for the core. <laughs> And you can adapt these in any way, as in the amount of weight. What would you suggest people start with for the weight? Um, I was going to say like two to three kilos. Three kilos is probably a good weight um, to start with. If okay. you're going to go out and buy some weights, because um, that's wow. just a good overall weight to do. Or if you've got some resistance bands there, we can use those. Yeah, absolutely. So they're pretty easy to grab and inexpensive as well. So the resistant bands work well. And I'm sure you're going to give us some good exercises to play around with those. So weights, resistant bands, um, and, you know, floor work, you'll be doing some things on the floor as well. So if they've got yeah. a mat, that would be handy. A mat, yeah. Um, 
yeah, if you have anything, like even just going into a park um, and use the park benches, we could do some step ups and some, you can do push ups and dips, um, a lot of different exercises in the park if that's more suitable for you. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So um, we're also going to put in there because, you know, I was, uh, I'm sort of one of those people who thinks if you're going to do something like this, you may as well do it every day. So I was saying, well, can we do strength every day? And Fiona's going, no, no, no. When you're starting it out three times a week. So what we put on the schedule that we'll put in the comments underneath this is um, we've put other suggestions. So we've put in a couple of walks a week. Uh, we put in a cardio session because I tend to think of a, a walk being more relaxed and a cardio being a faster walk or even a run. And then we've put in a, um, a yoga, stretching, that kind of session or a rest day on a Sunday. So, you know, just play around. But, but I suppose the biggest thing is to be moving every single day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But also in very important to have your rest day. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, but adapt it to your lifestyle. This is just a guide. So we've we've put it in um, for cardio on Mondays and strength on Tuesdays. But if that doesn't work for you, then it's always adaptable. So just work it, work it around your lifestyle. Yeah, absolutely. And what feels good for you. You yeah. know, what feels good for me may not feel good for you. So it's yeah. going to be different for everyone. And every time we post one of these, feel free to, you know, put in the comments below how you went, how it felt, any questions you've got. You know, we're going to be in there watching this um, yeah. throughout the month. So we'd love some interactions, ask any questions that you have. Yeah, we're more than happy to answer. We want this to be a group interaction and, a, and a, a, you know, a fun community 30 days. Yeah. And if you want to even uh, put your phone on a stand and if you're game enough <laughs> to take some photos or to take a, you know, how you can do that fast, you know, you put your whole 30 minutes, but it's done fast like that so um that's a bit of fun anything you want to post we'd love to see it yeah uh, that would be fantastic yeah if that's going to keep you accountable then yeah. you know take a selfie of you going for a walk or take a selfie of you doing a work workout or you know a quick um yeah video whatever you want to put in we're, yeah we would love that and this group is an open group so we are really happy if you've got a couple of other friends who are going to commit to the month worth of exercise uh, and strength then you can add them into the group and they can follow it too um, so uh, don't keep this all for yourself have a look at who else might want to jump in that's it we're yeah. over and out we're done uh, look forward to it and we will be starting this on the first Monday of March so you've got a week to get yourself organized and get yourself prepared um, so we thought that would be the best day to start. Mondays are always a good day to start. You can start earlier if you want and get yourself ready, but um, that will be the first Monday of the four-week program. Okay. So good. See you. Excited. Bye. Oops. Oh, what happened? <laughs>